Hello everyone and welcome back to The Last of Ivan. Fraz here as always and today we're going to be going into... Hmm, now how far has he got that up to? He still only got that up to. But yeah, like I said last episode, we're going to be having a little look at some community builds again. Because there's some crazy ones that have been brought in. And some interesting, just fairly cool ones. Maybe face off a couple of them and all that. Now you can find these all in the Steam Workshop, so I'm not using anything otherwise. And you can also find the Smash Gaming Fortress there. But what we want to do is go to the workshop and my script of downloading new workshop item. There we go. Right. Where are the ones I downloaded earlier? Let's see if I can find them. These are all the ones. Should just unsubscribe the ones we've already seen and see what we can do. But let's see. I love how that's there. <laughs> yeah, I've got some of these guys like this, this, this. I think it's just put them all after you one or another. Yes, it certainly has. Alright, so the first one I want to blow up is the boom barge. Look at the size of this thing. Set sail, please. I hate that you have to save all the time, but anyway. Frump. Let's see how well this works. Oh man, this has like perfect weighting system. Really, really nicely weighted. And fire. Oh, that is really, really nice. Hats off to the person that's created this. Click on a weapon to enter FPS mode and... That one's fire faster. Fire even faster. I want to take that against this. Now, how well does this turn? Not very well. Hello, skipper. But it is pretty a long, long ship, but with lots of guns. Right. Let's take this thing in there. See what we can do. Yes, I know I can enter FPS mode. I don't want to enter FPS mode. Cause does that fire at the front? Is that you? Is it? Those are our cannons at the front. Oh. Oops. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh very no. That went all the way over that. No, it really didn't actually. The ship's just burning. Um, that, that will, uh, yeah, yeah, that went well. Cannons fire up the way. Or no, oh, no. Reverse. So some way to dip this into the water. I can't believe I set the thing on fire. Uh, only I could do that. Only I could do that. Right, let's see. What else do we have then? Let's go to the bottom. So nicely, let's actually put them all to the bottom. So we're going to stick there. So you guys can see. So yes, that barrage is actually pretty damn fantastic. Somebody actually did... Wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Holy crap. Hats off to the people that come up with these things, because seriously, they love everything. Dang. Hello. Ow. Do you mind? Kind of hurts. That really, really hurts. This thing does not move effectively. Uh-oh. Did they take out the rudder or something? The no. Oh, no. Oh, crap. Let's just... Uh, this could hurt. Yee. I'm going to, because I did that so it puts us back sort of in the middle. Oh, that's an interesting way. Right, let's try setting sail again. Right. So, let's see. Am I going to work better? There's a lot of, like, a lot of the ship is below the bottom, but it doesn't seem to, like, it is kind of putting the water down here a bit. Now, what gun have we got in this? We have six in the front. We have three on the back. We have cannons here. Where is the... I really like this. 
it's a it's a really well designed ship and i think they've used some of the new parts actually possibly yep they certainly have done it looks pretty damn impressive let's see what else we have though I like doing these videos where it's just exploring stuff because I learn some things as well and it's good time to just, like, just show off what people have made, especially when you have something like the Claw of Pain and Sadness. I mean, what? It's just, ow, does this thing float? Does this thing actually float? Oh my sweet god, it does. But, oh my, it moves ridiculously fast. It's like a claw. I don't know if they actually did. Does it move? Oh, no, no. When the hell did you just get more, by the way? Just out of curiosity. This thing moves ridiculously fast for where it is. I'm wondering if these actually work yet. I'm going to do something with a ship. I'm going to drive it into the big like, bridge barge thing up there. Let's try that. Right, okay. And... Be interested because uh, we do have the mortars there, so and I believe it's kind of like. Where did they go? Ah! Hit myself. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Put the fire out, please. Right, drive us really, really fast into the middle. Before we actually burn to death. Oh crap. Oh crap. Why am I keeping myself on fire in this? I don't know. Let's see if we can go into this, and... Yep. Hello. That somewhat worked. Holy crap, that did an incredible amount of damage. Well, that happened. Now I'm just burning to death. And can move. <laughs> I'm sorry to the people that have watched their probably their creations get set on fire. But, these are impressive, like, really, this is freaking cool. Like, really cool. Let's see what else we have downloaded. Obviously, we have everything from before, like I mentioned, but we're ke keeping to the new things. We've checked all these. What is this? It is a wild ship. Wow. Interesting. The Natulis. Whoa, okay, that went straight to the bottom, and I don't know what fell off, so we're going to redock just now. That goes straight to the bottom, holy crap. There is a ton of weight to this thing. I believe it's meant to come out and just be like, fire, and then back down and he goes, wait, are they at an angle? Oh no, it's because of the way they're sitting. Oh wait, I think we've actually got a nice wee... Yep, it seems to have adjusted now. So it does seem because it's got that in the front and it just kind of jumps in and out. I'm liking the ship. There's got a lot of, like, it's got a lot of power to it. That would... That, I just noticed this here. And these as well, so they're kind of keeping it floating from the bottom, I think. It's got a lot of weight. The controls are in here. Oh, I could go in here. Hello. Also, that is round the wrong way. Just to, you know, that is actually right. This ship steers this way. This ship's built backwards. So, see, I'm not the only one that does ships backwards. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, dock that before we end up uh, a mile away. I'm not the only one that does things backwards. It's nice to know that. It's nice to know that. Right, let's see what else we got a hold of. Speedboat MK1. Oh, nice wee symbol speedboat. Wow. Okay. All right. Um. Certainly is a speedboat. I like how the use of this. Uh, it's very, very nicely built, like around the front. Tops off to the individual who came up with this one because it's really, really nicely built. I think the game does need a little bit fixing. Because, like the way speedboats work, like this, is somewhat how they work in the real world, but they're a little bit. Off, and I believe that's just the way the system's working right now. Does this actually have any cannons? Nope. To be honest, it looks a hell of a lot better than my speedboat. But you know, these things happen. 
So that's just a nice wee simple speedboat. Now, uh, as I mentioned before, do keep in mind that you can find every single one of these on the Steam Workshop. If you have the game, you can have a little look at it yourself. Holy crap. And obviously download them. Now, this is apparently a fast battleship. Let's see how fast this ship really is. It actually is reasonably quite fast for being a humongous ship. And can fire a huge amount of bullets per second. Same with this side as well. There is much need. I wish there was some way you could end up, like, if you press spacebar or something, it fired guns from all directions. Like, if you get into, like, say, the... When they bring them in voyage mode, if you have placed things on one left and on both sides, you don't want to be like, boink, boink. Especially if you have guns like this, you just want to hit an A button and constantly fire from both sides. But I'm truly impressive with this. This thing is really cool. Turns really well too. Let's see, is anything inside? Is it all hollow? So they've got hollow bit down here. I believe that's in there. Yep, hollowed out there. And... Yeah, definitely pretty damn cool. Right, next up, let's see. Now, there isn't any flyers today, please keep that in mind. There isn't any flyers, but there is something like this. Because... death. Why, how the hell is this thing meant to move? I'm curious, but... oh, there. That is gonna be a lot of... How, is this actually gonna move? Yeezus! The frame rate has died! Does this actually move? Let's turn up the speed. See if we can get it to move. It actually is moving. I'm gonna try something. All oh, the guns are firing. All oh, the guns are firing! Well that thing's even making my PC run slower. Holy crap! That's one thing they're trying to do is basically work on optimization in a way so if people build bigger ships, the game can run. Because obviously when you're going in a sort of voyage mode, you're probably going to come across ships less. This is the thing with Terratech, the bigger ship got and everything. That I'm thinking they may go along that. Anyway, we want to go into high speed battleship we've looked at. Let's try the Ram Runner. Or Rum Runner, should I say. Why is it called the Rum Runner? Why is it called the Rum Runner? The cannons down there? Holy crap. Set a local name. I'm gonna need to go through and get rid of some of these. Right. Flump. Ooh. And there we go. What, what, how is this powered? By two of them. That it? There's actually a ton of rum in there. This thing moves really well. Uh, why is it tipping? Why is it tipping? It's increasingly tipping no matter what I do to it. Stop that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Why is it tip? It's probably because of these. Um. Let's go full speed ahead. See if we can try and... Oh, it's coming back round. Fire the cannons. Then the cannons want to fire. It's like I'm here. What if we fire the cannons that... No, we're not going to get a chance to fire the cannons that way. I don't... Why is that suddenly doing that? Something shooting me and I don't know where from. Oh. Oh no, we're in shallow water. Okay, that doesn't really work that great. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that from the way the ship's built. I believe it might be the sails are just kind of knocking over in one way or another. But anyway, let's go to our dolphin. That's why the hell not. And go. Flump. Ow. And whoop. Yeah, it literally is a dolphin. Although we need to get to some more the deeper water, which is that way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. They're all gonna fall off soon at this rate. Into the deeper waters. There we go. Nope, it's gonna hit the bottom again. That I think's not even working anymore. Out, out. Where's all the deep war? Right, there, there we go. Right. I 
I think I get the feeling that's not working as great as it should be. There we go. Yeah, that's meant to be going. Let's go. There we go. That's some great shots there. I just going to go pincers at the front. The only thing is we go, oh my god. Because I well I didn't see if they actually reinstated melee damage or not. That thing goes really high. What we could do though is test out and see. Ugh. Can't really turn, obviously. Oh no 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 no. Hello and smack. Ah, oh okay. That didn't really work, did it? Fine, I'm gonna build up a new one then. I took out took out like half of that with the, the claw before. Torpedo submarine, and we've got this one. So we've got these two to finish off. Torpedo submarine. We don't actually have torpedoes or submarines. Don't think I didn't see that. Ow! How does this thing move? This thing is ridiculously heavy. It is actually a submarine. Shame it doesn't actually have torpedoes, but uh oh oh oops. Oops. Let's surrender. Uh, can I get off of this? Is it possible to get off of this? Uh, come on. Ah uh, no, I beached it. Yoink. Come on. Please. Please. At least it'll take us back to the, the deeper water then, because that did actually sit right above the water, and that's pretty damn cool. Like, it's weighted just enough so once it gets to full speed, it comes up. And it sits literally just inches below the water. That is cool. I'm really cool. That is happy to see. That is awesome. I would like to see them maybe implement some torpedo systems or something like that. That'd be really awesome. So we have one more workshop item to have a little look at. Today, the EQWE, which is a wild ship. So let's see if it doesn't crush our frame rate. Oh, it did somewhat, but then it stopped. Okay, why is this thing not moving? Um, what did it do to sail sails? Okay, so they kind of somewhat broke that somehow. Let's see if we can actually get this going a little bit then. So we're above the water now. Excellent. We put them to full. This thing does not move very well. We don't have any propellers on this, I don't think. What if we added some? Let's see. Let's add a couple of propellers ourselves. Where could we add them, actually? There's no way to add them. God dang it. Sorry, whoever you are. I'm going to be taking this apart just now because this thing does not move itself. It has a little bit of movement now. It even so slightly a bit of movement. But it seems overly big to actually, uh, you know, well, let's just fire from the front. And cannons. Everything works fine though. It just didn't, like, these guys don't seem to actually do much. They also look like they're floating above the water. Wait, they are? Oh, the hell the bat. Huh? Half the blocks disappear. I believe that's something to do with the game because everything is just kind of floating there. Half the blocks just disappear. And also their textures go a little bit weird. What if we add more to this? Can I make it move faster? Can I make it move faster? Come on. Nope. Nope. 
I'm gonna go there faster. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode, The Last of I Think. Um, like I said, there might be one or two more episodes. Uh, we'll see and see after this. I will keep an eye on the updates and then probably round off and maybe wait till we see Voyage Mode or and so on and so forth. Thank you very much for watching, though. Also, this is Backside Formus again. Bye-bye.